check it out. I partnered with Vistro because I want to eat more plant-based meals. And Vistro hooked me up. Vistro's is a chef-crafted, gourmet TV dinners. You can either put them in the microwave or the conventional oven. Two different ways, but you know what? One thing in common, that they both taste good. Over 50 different meals you can choose from right here in this brochure booklet. They come in two different sizes. Uh, you have the bigger size, which is this right here. Bam! And you got like the smaller one. Some of them will have sauces like a, that comes in a packet. And what you do is you just get a little frying pan, add some water, drop that bad boy right in the water, and then just sizzle it. What's dope about Bistro is it come in a seven day supply or a 30 day supply. Now me, I'm a greedy butt, man. I'll eat like two or three in one day. So I gotta stick with that 30 day supply. I'm doing the Hawaiian chile. I see it, the Hawaiian chile. And the enchilada. You see it, you love it. Look at that. Pure plant-based, baby. Like the taste it, here it go. <laughs> Mm. No capping, no BS. I really love these shows. Every single meal I've tried from these shows has been banging. It's 50, so I got a long way to go. I maybe tried like nine, ten different ones. Oh my gosh, banging. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Just forget about the microwave food you've tried in your past. This is nothing like it. This is straight chef crafted gourmet meals. Ah! Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. So guys, I'm going to do a Q&A. Ask me any question and I'm going to answer. Any question, I'm going to answer. Big shout out to Nigel Courtney. Uh, favorite food. Yo, I'm starting to love a lot of vegan stuff, man. Like a lot. But my favorite right now, I had before. I like Italian and I like, you know, I'm West Indian, I'm Jamaican. I love Jamaican meals like Aki, Selfish, um, Dumpu, like all that, all that. You know, but um, hey, I'm crossing over to be a vegan. So, um, I don't know, it's gonna be hard. I'm gonna try to predominantly do plant-based uh, food. So, uh, as far as, yo, I went to a restaurant and had a plant-based burger. It was so good. I, I ordered at least two times a week. It's uh, it's so good. I went to the restaurant, it's called um, Veggie Nation, so good. It's called the Mac Daddy Burger. So it's a it's a plant-based, big, thick plant-based uh, patty. and had mac and cheese and greens on there. Dang it. Mr. Wright, 826, said, uh, what the hell is your problem? You need help. You know what? I do need help. I need help. I do. I do. DC Strutter asked, what was the best snack you have ever reviewed? Man, it's a bunch, man. Like, if I go back, because I've been doing sea snacks and reviewing for like seven, eight years, dude. Uh, man. I don't know. I like I like different chips and cakes, man. I think it was a... Man, that 7-Up cake I had back in the days was banging. Um, man, I, dude. Everything. I got to say, people were like, yo, why is this everything is banging? Because I don't review stuff that I know is going to be nasty. I don't want, why, why would I do that? I don't want to do that. It'll be a bunch of nasty. I'm not, I'm not into the shock value. I just like snacks. And um, yeah, that's, I'm not a, a specific. Now, if I had like a variety of foods, then uh, yeah, I would tell you what's my favorite, but I like cakes and gummy stuff, but man, until they make a banging gummy vegan candy, but right now that junk food and candy and airheads and all that, and Hubba Bubba and Big Lee Chew, Banging. Urban Editor 20. Are you just eating healthy or are you going vegan? I don't know if I'm trying to be like, yo, I'm gonna cut everything out. I still love my chicken and still love my fish. I might be a pescatarian. I don't know, I'm about to cut down chicken. But I just like eating healthy anyways. I always eat healthy. Um, you know, I always ate healthy, you know. That's why, you know, a lot of uh, food reviewers, they be doing um, a lot of fast food uh, reviews and getting hella views. And uh, they're like, yo, this thing just dropped. And I'm like, ah, I don't want to eat that. You know, I'm not making my stomach all crazy just for, to please some people. You know what I mean? I just, I'm, I, I be reviewing stuff because I like and I want to try it. That's it. That's, that's, it's like you follow me because I like what I like. And certain things come out that I like, I'm going to try it. So, 
Um, I love vegan food. Yo, vegan food is so good, man. You know, and I feel much better ever since I've been eating nothing but, especially in bistros, eating plant-based foods. It's like I've been losing weight and I feel better, energetic. Yeah, so if that answers your question. Okay, let's go to Raymond Burgos. Hi, C Snacks. What is your favorite takeout food? My favorite takeout? Man, I love yo, Haynes is banging. They be open late too. They be open late. Hey, hey. Okay, uh, Mike Kimmich asked another question. How much vegan snacks you eat? Man, in one setting, I ate, yo, I ate, I ate these, these vegan cakes, some gummies, and, uh, and this other thing I got from Whole Food, I ate it all in one setting. And that same day, I destroyed a whole roll of the Oreo vegan. I ate a whole tray. All in one setting. Like, that's how greedy I get my... <laughs> this dude, yo, comedian <laughs> Gabe Nolasco. This dude gonna ask me, uh, he said, how could I... <laughs> on the first date? Oh man, if I did, I prefer syrup or jelly. <laughs> I said anything, so I asked any question. Red Dwayne 17. Do you like lightsaber fusion? Hell yeah, that was banging. It's crazy that they that they made lightsaber fusion. Lightsaber fusion, if you don't know, they're like diffused with two different flavors. Like, you know. Um I used to do that anytime I used to buy like two different packs or three different packs of lifesavers and I'll make like a like a Krabby Patty, like, you know if you've ever seen the gummy Krabby Patties? And I'll stack them like that and eat them just like that. I used to do that. So, yes, I like the fusions. I think I would be doing this more often, but organizing it better. It's my first time doing the Q&A. Uh, and listen, guys, I think I still got some more food. Let me, oh, I forgot about, whoa! Mm. Your boy done forgot about his Hawaiian chili. This is a uh, stone-baked pita bread that's gluten-free, wheat-free, no GMO. Yeah. Mmm. Cause why not, man? You have some chili, you eat it in like a hot dog roll. Remember you used to eat it in a hot dog roll, you know? So I'm gonna do it like that. No utensils. Oh, we see that. This is it, baby. The Hawaiian chili, you like to taste it? Here you go. Mmm. Damn, yo. Has the beans and pineapple. I should've knew it had the pineapple in there, man. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Come on, guys. Quit playing with me. Quit playing around with me, Bistro. Mm. Yo, this is really gourmet, chef crafted, for real, for real. Mm. This ain't a typical review. I got, I got to say, this ain't, man. Cause I'm really enjoying this food. Like, I'm hungry. I try to be hungry every time I do reviews because listen here, I goes in, okay? I goes in, okay? Mm. Guys, I gotta go. Big shout out to everybody who uh, asked me a question. Big shout out to uh, Hopper Food, Lauren, Toyota. Special big shout out for Vistros for making it happen. Vistros.